The audio control panel is used to control the aircraft audio, intercom, passenger address system, and relay of the oral warning system. Using the audio control panel, you can choose which radios to transmit on and which radios to monitor. Lights on the audio control panel indicate when a selection is active. The speaker, PA button, controls the cockpit speaker and passenger address system. Pushing the button toggles the cockpit speaker on or off. When it's on, audio is broadcast over the cockpit speaker. Pushing the button again toggles the PA system on. When PA is selected, pushing the push to talk button will transmit over the cabin PA system. Transmitting and receiving over comm radios is accomplished using the microphone selector buttons and audio control buttons. To transmit, select the desired comm radio. The selected radio will be indicated by an arrow. The direction of the arrow indicates which pilot has selected the radio. To transmit on the radio, push the push to talk button. To monitor a radio, push the associated audio control button. You can monitor multiple frequencies at one time, but can only transmit on one. Volume is controlled with the master volume control knob. Rotate the inner knob to control volume to the pilot headsets or the cockpit speaker. The outer knob controls the volume of the cabin intercom system. This only controls the volume of any transmissions over the PA system and not any selected radio, music input, or passenger volume levels. The split function is only applicable to aircraft with only one audio control panel installed. It splits the radios so that the pilot and co-pilot can transmit over different frequencies using only one audio control panel. Split mode is not operational when two audio control panels are installed. These audio control buttons allow monitoring of any audio transmitted over the associated NAV, ADF, or DME frequencies. The ICS button toggles between different states of the intercom system. When ISO is selected, the pilot is isolated from the intercom and is connected only to the aircraft radio system. In this case, the co-pilot and passengers can hear each other, but will not hear aircraft radio receptions or pilot transmissions. When all is selected, the pilot, co-pilot, and passengers hear both the aircraft radio and the intercom. When crew is selected, the pilot and co-pilot are connected on one intercom channel and have exclusive access to the aircraft radios. The marker beacon receiver uses both visual and audio indicators to alert the pilot when the aircraft passes over a 75 MHz transmitter. When the marker button is pushed, the light above the button is turned off and the marker audio is muted. Pushing the mute button mutes the marker beacon for 60 seconds or until passing another marker beacon. Pushing the marker sensitivity button toggles the receiver sensitivity between high and low. High permits the pilot to hear the outer marker approximately one mile from the beacon and low provides a more accurate location of the marker. Many pilots choose to leave the receiver in the low sensitivity position when it's being used for approach markers.